In 1926, the American inventor Philo Taylor Farnsworth was 21 years old when he made the first electronic television. This system captured moving images using a beam of electrons. This is what we know today as a primitive camera. In 1929, the Baird Televisor became the first commercially available television. This early television set was small and used reflected light to produce a low-resolution image the size of a postage stamp. Since then, the invention of the electric television has provided a higher resolution and made mass production easier, rendering Baird's mechanical televisions obsolete. The Marconi 702 was released in the mid-1930s. The Marconi 702 was a vision-only, mirror-lid television that used magnetic deflection and electrostatic focusing. When turned on, the image on the horizontal 12-inch screen was reflected onto, and viewed through, the mirror on the case's lid. At the time, it was a luxury item only the rich could afford, as it retailed for around half of the average annual salary at the time. Telefunken in Germany produced the first fully electronic cathode ray tube television in 1934. Other manufacturers in France, the United Kingdom, 1936, and the United States followed suit, 1938. Prior to World War II, an estimated 19,000 aircraft were produced in the United Kingdom and 1,600 in Germany. In 1938, His Master's Voice, or HMV combined both radio receiver and television together in one convenient product. The 1940 Televisions gained popularity in the 1940s. Due to price decreases, Americans were purchasing 100,000 televisions per week in 1949. Around this time, broadcast stations began producing television shows based on radio serials. By the end of the decade, for television networks, NBC, ABC, CBS, and the now defunct Dumont, were broadcasting seven days a week, establishing what we now call the primetime television schedule. The 1950 The first TV remote was introduced to consumers in 1950, and as more TV shows and technological innovations emerged, TVs became increasingly popular throughout the 1950s. In addition, the first color television system was broadcast in 1953. Zenith Radio Corporation created the first remote control, the Lazy Bones. It was a remote control that was wired to the television, and its operation was more mechanical than electronic, as it activated a small motor that moved the TV dial. The very first color television set. A trichromatic system creates a sequence of fields based on the primary colors red, green, and blue, RGB. RCA launched the first model, the CT100, popularly known as, the Merrill. The 1960 Companies continued to invent new technology, such as the electronic remote control switch for the RCA Victor TV in 1960. This groovy decade brought unique designs to the TV sets themselves, including versions that were integrated into mod-style home entertainment centers. The first portable television set was produced. Sony TV8301 had an 8-inch, black and white screen and could be powered by mains electricity or two internal 6-volt batteries. It weighed 5.9 kilograms. The 1960s is marked by various approaches to portable television and, beyond that, to pocket television. The 1970 With the rise of color television, price drops on black and white TVs meant households could afford more than one set in the 1970s. In 1976, the Sinclair Microvision was released, offering portable television to consumers for the first time. The first time that TVE broadcast in color was in 1969, the Eurovision Song Contest from Madrid. From 1973 onwards, color and black and white broadcasts began to be combined. 
but it was not until 1978 that the definitive switch to color took place, almost three decades after the first broadcast of this type was made in the United States in the early 1950s. The era of 1980 and 1990. No longer a hot commodity at this point, TVs have become a staple in most homes' entertainment spaces by the 1980s and 90s. At the start of 1993, 98% of American households owned at least one TV set, with 64% owning two or more. The 2000s. High definition replaces standard definition. In 2005, flat-screen TVs and HDTVs were introduced for the first time, although they were largely an expense most people couldn't afford. That said, in the following year, they became more affordable and quickly began to replace the box television sets of yore. And from 2007 through the end of the decade, smart TVs offered a combination of both traditional media and a growing variety of streaming services. Hyundai introduced the first 3D television to the public in Japan. It was a 46-inch set with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. The starting price was around 3,100 euros. Not everyone who had the opportunity to test the system was very satisfied. Some people found wearing glasses annoying and the intermittency of the glasses seemed to adversely affect some users. The world's first edge-lit LED TV created by Samsung. This high-definition TV offered users ultra-high contrast ratios and vivid colors, thanks to its innovative LED edge lighting. It was also the world's thinnest. The era of 2010 and 2020. The first 3D TV was introduced in 2010, spurred by popular 3D blockbusters of the time, like James Cameron's Avatar. Streaming services and their mobile versions have changed the way people interact with screens in the 2010s. In other words, a person no longer needs a television set now to watch and enjoy TV. By now, you've probably heard of 4K TVs and have, at this point, realized they are anything but a fad. First released by LG in 2012, 4K Ultra HD TVs have dethroned 1080p Full HD. Sets for some time now with more broadcast television networks offering 4K resolution at an increasing rate, and there's even 8K programming on the horizon. If 4K HD Blu-rays and 4K HD streaming content are any indication, 4K programming is here to stay. What do you think the next technology that will revolutionize the history of television will be like? Write down in comment section. This was the evolution of the television. We hope you like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos about the evolution of things. Thank you for watching.